The following is a live presentation of CBC Sports. A new queen in women's curling will be crowned in Amori, Japan, as Canada's Kelly Scott takes on Angelina Jensen of Denmark for the championship. Kelly Scott was the dominant team in round-robin play with a 10-1 record and in the page 1-2 playoff game, completely dominating Jensen by a score of 11-2. Jensen, a surprise semi-final victor over Kelly Wood of Scotland, coming from behind for a 9-6 win. So it's Kelly Scott of Canada against Angelina Jensen of Denmark for the 2007 Women's World Championship. It's Championship Sunday at the Amori Prefectural Skating Rink in Japan as Canada's Kelly Scott looks for her first women's world title going against Angelina Jensen of Denmark, something of a surprise 2007 women's world finalist. Canada's Kelly Scott came to this event as one of the favorite teams and she lived up to all advanced billing ripping off 10 consecutive wins before losing her final round robin game to Kelly Wood of Scotland. It was Denmark, Scotland and the United States, the teams that qualified for the playoffs. The big surprise, Annette Norberg of Sweden, the two-time world champion, the Olympic gold medalist with a record of six and five, failed to qualify for the playoffs. The page 1-2 playoff game featured Canada and Denmark. And really not much of a contest in this one as Kelly Scott took control on the third end. She did have an opportunity in a 1-1 tie on end number three and a lot of rocks and play to hit and stick and That's score right, three. Right. But one of the few errors that Scott right made shoot, all red. day, her shooter just rolled too far. She was only able to score two, but on the next end she stole two more en route to her 11-3 victory. And number 10 of the semi-final game, Kelly Wood of Scotland with the final stone, trailing by a point, and she had to try this run back of a Danish stone, trying to remove the Danish shot rock on the button. She got her own, and it was a steal of two more, and a 9-6 victory for Denmark over Scotland to move on to this championship game against Canada. The third time these two teams have met, 8-1 was the score. Canada over Denmark in round-robin play, and in the page 1-2 playoff game, it was an 11-3 Canadian victory over Denmark. Joan McCusker and Mike Harris join me as always for our curling coverage from Amori, Japan. And Joan, in watching the Kelly Scott team play this week, they have been a confident group of women. And one of the things that worked in their favor is they played some of the pre-tournament favorite, favorites early in the week and got them out of the way and started to get gain that confidence that they needed. They are playing 10 percentage points or more higher than their oppos opposition today. They should be confident. They're also very focused, and they know that they need to take this game one end at a time. Well, Canada certainly outscored the Danes in the two games that they did play. This Danish team, a little surprised just to make the playoffs, Mike, and uh, perhaps even more surprised to be in this championship final. I think that's fair to say. They were trailing that game in the semifinal 6-2 after six ends, looked completely out of the game, and that's when they started playing their best, when they became relaxed and had that feeling of nothing to lose. If they come into this final with the same attitude, we saw a lot of great skips by the, their skip uh, yesterday and she played very very well when it didn't seem to matter much and this is this is the attitude they have to take in this game if they want to have a chance at this uh, final so wherever you're watching back in canada it's either good morning or good evening as kelly scott of the Kelowna curling club goes up against angelina jensen of denmark for the 2007 women's world championship in amori japan we'll be back with first stones after this The 2007 World Women's Curling Championship on CBC, presented by Ford, built for life in Canada.
the 2007 World Women's Curling Championship on CBC is brought to you by Scotty's Tournament of Hearts, a new name, a new look. By Tim Hortons, roll up the rim to win. And by the original Strauss Heart Drops. Trust the tradition. Canada's Kelly Scott will have last rock advantage on this first end, and she has an opportunity to etch her name into the curling record books. She could become the first World Junior Women's Champion as a skip to also win a World Women's title. As the skip, she won the 1995 Canadian World Junior and the Canadian and the World Junior Championships. And in 2007, she is Canadian Women's Champion and with an opportunity here to claim the Women's World Championship. Nine, clean, close, yep. Annie Hansen placed her first stone in the rings and Renee Simons taking aim at it successfully removes the Danish rock and rolls the shooter over into the 12. Very defensive start here in this uh, final with Canada hitting that first rock. They could have ignored it, thrown the corner guard. Annie Hansen had a very difficult game yesterday in the semifinal against Scotland. Uh, trouble with draw away, trouble with hitting the broom. Uh, so she'll be looking to up her game today. Well, she was added to the roster for the page one two playoff game by this Danish team because. Camila Jensen, who normally plays lead, had to return home for a university exam. So she left this team to head back to Copenhagen on Friday. Nine again. Clean. Yep. And yep. if you were not with us for the semifinal game, whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. the Danish team whoa, 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 whoa. Hard has Angelina Jensen calling the game, but she throws second stone. Somewhat similar to what we witnessed at the Olympic Games when Brad Gushu had Russ Howard calling the game, throwing second stone en route to their gold medal win. You know, we talked about the problems that Camila Jensen had returning home for a university exam last year in Grand Prairie. Angelina Jensen had to leave the team because of health reasons. Yep. And it was interesting yesterday when the final stone by Kelly Wood removed her own stone in the forefoot, leaving a steal of two for Denmark and a 9-6 win. Jensen and the rest of the team almost seemed surprised that they had won. Well, I think the only team more surprised was Stalin, perhaps. There was, uh, they were never in that game. It, one of those games that uh, when the dust settled, they finally had to pull out the victory. And I never, never really looked for a moment like they were going to win that game. But uh, good, I said, great credit to the team for hanging in. And uh, they just stayed tough. And talked about it time and time. When you get down early in games, you don't have many hard decisions to make. You just play as aggressively as you can, try to get as many rocks in play. And they really relaxed. And, and uh, I was really impressed with some of the shots that uh, Madeleine Dupont made on her last stones to, to save ends and put pressure on, on uh, Kelly Wood. Well, she made a really good shot on the 10th end to uh, get a hit and roll to the button to lie shot behind cover, and that uh, basically was the shot that won the game for Denmark. And one of the characteristics that works in Madeline's favor is that she doesn't seem to get very upset when she does miss a shot early in the game yesterday that she missed the, the free draw for the second point or a draw to to uh, keep Scotland down and in, in counting. But she didn't seem to get upset about that and, and really stay composed throughout the game and was able to make those big shots that Mike talked about late in the game. I think at the end of the day, though, Team Scotland's going to really regret uh, stopping playing aggressively. Once they had a 6-2 lead, they, they just figured they had enough points and and hit everything in sight and, and never really tried to generate any offense and and it cost them what it's doing. And speaking of generating offense, that's what this call is here. Sasha Carter will attempt to freeze to this rock belonging to Denmark that's just biting the back of the house. Yep. Yeah, if you need backing. Yep. Hurry line. Sasha was with Kelly oh, when she won that 1995 Canadian and World Junior right Championship. Up. Right up, every inch, right up. Go, 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 right up. 
Nice throw. A crowd of about 600 people, and uh, that's pretty close to capacity as far as the uh, temporary stands are concerned that have been erected here in this skating yeah, rink. It's a yep. speed skating facility. Whoa, whoa. Yep, yep. 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 And players on all teams whoa. very whoa. complimentary regarding whoa. ice conditions that they have been playing on this week. Very nice Pick shot there by Denise DuPont. Nice soft weight, good control. Well done. To normal, like a 14 8. Gina Schrader at third stone. Her father, Jerry, is the uh, coach of this team from the Kelowna Curling Club. Here comes. Here we go. We can make it. She's attempting this freeze as well. Wants to come all the way back to this rock in the back eight foot. Trying to drag it down to shot stone. Go, Sash. Go, 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 go. About a foot short of freezing to that stone. And uh, we talked about the... Great ice conditions here. Hans Wuthrich is the man responsible for providing the playing surface. And Elaine Dag Jackson is just in the bottom corner of your screen. She's been a team leader, gone to a lot of World Women Championships in the past. Said this is by far the best ice conditions ever for a World Women. The danger here of a jam for Denmark. The Canadian Stone onto their own, and that's what happens, and the Canadian Stone will not roll out of the rings. It's a big miss. That wasn't uh, wasn't a very okay. difficult shot Ten. there for Denmark. And you can see the curl in the ice, even with the, the regular hit weight. When these rocks start to break, it's very, very hard to hold them from over curling, especially on those hits. Boom. Nine, eight. Yep, yep. Yeah. Trying to keep this online to punch this stone cleanly past their own. And they get a jam. And roll out. And roll out, and Denmark lies too. Just fooled by the amount of curl. Get out of your hand. The youngest member of this Danish team, 19-year-old Madeline Dupont, throwing fourth stones. Three times she represented her country at the World Junior Championship. And is a curling instructor at the Tarnby Curling Club in Copenhagen. Well, in this game, the key matchup could very well be at skip stone. And as we talked about, Madeline Dupont throwing that skip stone in the last half of the game yesterday in the semifinal looked very, very cool and composed, made some big ones to set up being in this final here. So we'll be watching the skips, Kelly Scott and Madeline Dupont. Okay. She just didn't look like it had the quick, quick glide. <coughs> it's just a 14 8. Yeah. Maybe a couple feet lighter than practice. Still an opportunity to generate two on this opening end for Kelly Scott. Pretty, pretty good chance, really, if she can get uh, frozen in the stone at the back of the 12 foot. No, 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 no. Eight, nine. Down all those three yes. scoring yes. points here for Start Denmark line, in, in this first end. Clean. Nine, yeah, ten, clean. Gina. Looking shot here. Yep, yep. Keep it going. Whoa. Come on. Go, go, go. Whoa. Bury it. Bury it. And she is buried behind the stone, sitting at the top of the 12. Canada lies one. Shot, Beautiful it's shot. Nice shot, Cal. Nice shot. It's in there. <laughs> Who's got any Jensen positioning the brush for Madeline DuPont with an intern draw to try and get 
mm, to that Canadian think. stone, the Wood Five Sisters. Yeah, Pardon me, Beavers, the second, and Kelly Wood. Moment, I thought that was Lindsay, but it's Lorna Beavers sitting with Kelly Wood watching this championship game. They need to get this by the top stone. Are they going to get it by or are they going to rub? They're going to get the rub. So we talked about the opportunity being present for Kelly Scott to generate two on this opening end. And with the fine shot she made with her first stone and with the miss there by Madeline Dupont, the chance for a deuce now exists with Kelly Scott getting set to throw the final rock. Uh, nice start for Kelly. It was a really nice draw she made on her first one. They're looking at three Danish stones and rewarded here with the open hit. And as we watched earlier with Gina Schrader, they just have to be careful with these soft weight hits that they don't lose the line. That once they start to break, they'll curl very hard. Nine and a half. Yep. Room, room. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Up the bite. Whoa. Whoa. They need the contact. They have to save the shooter, and it looks as though both objectives have been achieved. Canada is first on the board, picking up a pair on end number one. Kelly Scott off to a great start in this 2007 Women's World Final, leading Denmark by two. Yeah. Welcome back to Almori with Canada leading Denmark 2-0 after one end of play in this championship game. You're watching CBC Sports Weekend. Figure skating on CBC, the World Championships from Tokyo, Sunday night at 8 o'clock local time. And speaking of uh, Tokyo and the country of Japan, about 10.18 this morning, a strong earthquake struck Japan northwest of Tokyo, not far actually from Nagano, the site of the 1998 Olympics. It was measured as a magnitude 7.1 earthquake, and many of the curlers and officials felt the quake in their hotel. Didn't get you out of bed, though, did it, Mike? Did not. <laughs> did not. Ten. I think I'm still stuck on Toronto time, Don. <laughs> Well, it's a major adjustment, and uh, the curlers said that they required a couple of days to make the switch for the Kelly Scott team from Kelowna, a 16 hour time difference. I was trying to avoid that jam, just over curled a little bit. Both teams getting fooled yeah. a couple of times already with the amount of swing yeah, on the ice. We had enough ice. Because she didn't call out of my hand. I thought I threw it pretty good. So now a nice chance for Angelina Jensen throwing. The second stone's getting around that tight guard belonging to Canada. My mistake, she's going around the corner guard belonging to Denmark, the high one just coming into view just now. Looks very good. Through the hole between those two stones sitting out front and coming to rest at the back of the eight foot. Not any? No, a, not even quite a quarter. Okay. Heel. Okay. One thing we did notice yesterday be between the Danish, yep. the big difference between the Danish and the Scots right is the amount of curl that uh, Denmark was able Quick. to get Hurry, on their right soft release. Quick, go, and their stones were definitely go, go. curling more than Team Scotland's were. And I expect that to continue with. Good shot. Thanks, Ash. This matchup against Canada today, yeah. I think we'll see uh, Denmark taking much more ice, or requiring much more ice.
to get around guards than, than Kelly Scott does because of the well, release of the way they throw the stone. Especially the DuPont yeah. sisters at uh, third and, okay, and fourth stones. And and we'll get a good look at their releases this end. Uh, they turn the rock right over. They have to take a lot more ice. Very soft release with not as much rotation in the rocks. So will curl a tremendous that's one of the things that Kelly Scott talked about learning at last year's World Women's Championship. She didn't realize how differently the European teams throw and uh, had trouble reading the, the ice after watching. She learned this year just to judge her team's stones, to read the ice only from her teammates. Stone by Jensen is not buried and it came too deep to the back of the 12. You know, when you look at this playing surface compared to Nine, six. what you're familiar with uh, seeing in Canada, in Canada the sheet is 14 feet 2 inches wide. This is 15 feet 7 inches wide. And next year the World Curling Federation is going to make it even wider. It will be expanded to 16 feet 6 inches. Whoa. Stay close. That almost knows. Eight. Okay. Catching the stone on the outside, and the shooter rolls to the edge of the 12 foot. Another decision made by the World Curling Federation here in Aomori is that mixed doubles will be introduced in Finland in March 2008 the inaugural World Mixed Doubles competition. We've seen mixed doubles in the past at the Continental Cup. These will be a little bit different. These mixed doubles are consisting of only two members per team, not the four that we saw at the Continental Cup. No sweeping unless you sweep your own stone. Yep. Oh. That lets me out, I guess. I was kind of thinking you might make a good combination. Same weight, 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a very nice shot. Uh, just delivered by Denmark. Forcing Canada to continue to hit because Denmark has last rock. Count and line two. Clean. Got nine. Room. Clean. Same. Gina Schrader would really like to get a nose hit and stick yep. in the house. Yep. Hard. Hard. Good shot. And she gets rid of two stones. They were concerned of a possible jam. However, both stones went out of play. No, Kelly Scott's happy to lose that stone of hers at the back of the 12 foot. It was not ever going to count in this end. It was actually acting as a, as a freeze opportunity for Denmark. So happy to, to get rid of both. Yep. 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 Whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. Got Denise, Denise Dupont Got with a nose hit. Denmark lies two. An opportunity for Kelly Scott oh, now <laughs> with a hit and a bit of a roll behind cover. A good execution this end from Team Denmark. They made the, the one nice come around. Hey, Kelly Scott feels the guard and hey. done a good Jesus. job keeping the rings. They're coming up though. Keeping uh -huh. the rocks spread out <laughs> in the rings and not allowing a double opportunity. Two options here for Kelly Scott. She can roll behind the center guard. Or she can roll all the way over in front of that other Danish stone to the back 12 foot would also be a good, a good option. We got lots. Close. Lean, close. Lean. Close. Eight. Eight. Come up. Stay close. Lean. No. No. Off. Off. Lean. 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 A nose hit for Kelly yeah, Scott. That is shot minutes. rock. Eight five. Okay. Too much Eight five is referring to the hog to hog time, and <laughs> the team oh. usually tries to throw nine five. So that one was a little bit more weight than yes. what they were expecting. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, Manu. Yes. Take your take. Come here. Come here, Manu. 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 Great brushing by Denise Dupont and Anna Hansen. 
Jeg havde været 42, 41 eller sådan noget. 42. Jeg var godt nok svært at holde den første derude. Det er også altså. Much the same type of shot for Kelly Scott, again trying to get a hit and roll behind the center guard. Just a little less weight. Okay. It's like eight and a half, so we'll go for nine again. Canada leading by a score of 2 0. Nice. Two stones remaining on this second end. Denmark trying to get back on even terms. Kelly Scott with this rock trying to prevent that from happening. Will she get a roll? Yes, she does. Does it go too far? No, it's perfect. Perfect shot. Beautiful shot. Incredible. That looks a little better. Yeah, third time we'll get it, right? Good save by the skipper here. <laughs> Look at this roll. Fighting to get up to me. I just really like the way that they, they came about this second pass of this hit and roll, knowing that just take a little bit of weight off, it'll break a little sooner. And not just taking a move and sitting there, they're finishing her. Kind of thought the first end, but didn't quite believe it. But Madeline Dupont now is going to come down and talk with Angelina Jensen. Or just having a look to see how where she needs to draw to. I don't know that there's any hit opportunity. And you can see their routine. Normally, Madeline doesn't come down unless there is a lot of rocks in play. She'll just stay down at the throwing end. Leaving the calling of the game to Angelina Jensen. Angelina is the oldest member of this team. She's 33. Madeline Dupont is 19, Denise Dupont 22, and Annie Hansen is 26. Meets the full four foot here. She made some very good draw shots in the semifinal against Kelly Wood of Scotland. It looks as though she's got a very good stone here. Or is it going to curl too much and rub that Canadian rock? No, it's just going to rub off it and catch a piece of the button. So with the final stone of end number two, Madeline Dupont comes through with a good draw, and it's a 2-1 Canadian lead through two. One of the top lantern festivals in Japan takes place every year in Aomori. These lantern floats are in the Nabuta Museum. The lantern floats are accompanied by dancers through the streets of Amori. The floats measure seven meters long, six meters wide, and five meters high. And no, Joan, you can't pack one of them in your suitcase to take home. 2-1 Canada leads Denmark playing this third end. Lots of nice shots made already. You see the, this is the third lead stone being played. So far, perfect, all three. And Annie Hansen struggled in the uh, semifinal game against Scotland over the first half of the game. I think at one point she was 29%. Probably close to the same. But you'd never know it now. She's playing very well. Chance for Renee Simon. Try to tap this back. And these are really difficult because the line is very, very important. Don't want to yep, roll completely real. off. Yep, yep. yep. Hard. Hard. <laughs> yep. Hard. Yep. Stay on it. Hard. 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 They're going to catch the guard. Go, 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 go. Go, Sash. Go, go, go. And that will open things up. Just one loss during round robin play for Kelly Scott and her Canadian team, and that was on the final draw. Single point steals yeah. on the last four ends by Kelly Wood of Scotland en route to a 7-5 triumph. We can also guard and swing. I saw her in again. The Russian team uh, came to Japan with uh, high hopes of maybe making it into the playoff round, but Anna Pivakova and her team struggled. Four Mina. wins and Whoa. seven losses. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Jeg er bange for bare vores ryger. Det er fint, Ejsen her. Godt, Ejsen her. Godt, Ejsen her. Angelina Jensen and her Danish team in round robin play, an eight and three record, losses to Canada, Italy, and the United States. Straight down center, isn't it, Herburn? Uh, it's on my side. Yeah, no, definitely the, the surprise of this field, this uh, young Danish team. Hard! Looks good, go! Combined with the fact that uh, Ned Norberg missed the playoff time, as you mentioned in our opening. Canada having some difficulty yeah. on this third end. Yeah, Asha Carter wrecking on the guard out front. It's the third intern hit that's uh, over curled for <laughs> Sasha. Den falder slet ikke endnu. Den falder bare ud. Den falder ud. To. Ja, hvis den falder to. Den falder nu. Der er ikke noget køl i mand. Now it starts to make a move. And the supers can just drag it all the way. Ja, giv den mere. To guarding that shot stone. Åh, mere. Det er mere. Well done. Godt spil, Eisner. Godt, Eisner. A lot of movement as those stones glide to a stop. Godt spil, Eisner. Ja, perfekt. God far. Can you get a quarter? I, yeah, I've got about a quarter of it. We know it'll come up. Throw it the same. Just a little more ice. Okay. 80. Okay. 80. If she catches a quarter of this stone, is there a double possibility there? There is. There's a lot of weight to be throwing this shot with, though. It's, it's a much easier hit and stay with, with hack or board weight. Surprise you're going at it with this much weight. Yeah. What? Whoa. Sasha Whoa. Carter caught the guard Whoa. with her first Whoa. attempt. Whoa. Will she get Whoa. by the guard Whoa. here Whoa. and catch a piece of that stone? Double. She catches the shot rock, just misses the other Danish stone. It had to curl a little more, make a little more contact with the shot rock. And they were really gambling on making that double, as Mike said, that the alternative could be just to get another rock and play, remove the one, and roll. So now Denise Dupont will try to replace that stone. Using the in-turn, though, instead of the wide out-turn, she has to come across the face of the Canadian guard. She's got the port. It's going to go too deep. The back of the eight foot. Denise Dupont, the unique distinction of having represented her country at both the World Junior Championship and the World Championship in the same year, 2003 and 2004. Annette Norberg, disappointed with her team's performance and her own effort here in Amori. As a two-time world champion and Olympic champion, she was favored to, at worst, be in the playoff picture. Okay. It's quite a defensive call by Kelly Scott to to have Gina. Trader, uh, play the hit there. They do have last rock. There are some rocks in play, rocks behind the tee line. She didn't have to play the hit. She could have drawn. They were waiting for that stone to curl a little more so they could get a roll behind cover. You like nine, nine, eight? Okay. Nine, eight. 
Prior to hooking up with Kelly Scott and women's play, Gina Schrader three times represented well, British uh -huh. Columbia in the Canadian uh -huh. Junior Women's Championship. Come on, baby, the first appearance the same year that Kelly Scott, then Kelly McKenzie, was a runner-up in Leduc at the tender age of 13 when she was playing with Jill Staub out of Manitoba. Well, that's the point of the end now. I think Joan on Kelly's next shot, I expect her to play a draw, even if yeah. Dupont hits and stays here. Try to create her two points. And there's the roll behind cover. Great shot. Denmark really loose out there, having some fun. And this perfect hit and roll. Nice soft weight. And they're in good shape here without last rock. Yeah, I mean, you miss it. She has to replace that guard when you've got this out. On the Visca? I think so. I think because yeah, I know yeah. shooters out of the way. He's going to try to run the guard back, open things up a little bit, expecting Eight eight or so. Denmark to replace the guard. And Kelly Scott will be left with the out turn draw for one. She'd love okay, to huh? run this back and remove one of these Danish stones. Okay, get the shooter out of the way. Mm -hmm to run it onto that stone at the back eight foot actually and roll the shooter away. Little more. The idea being that she would remove the guard as well as sit second shot at the back. So a little bit more dangerous situation for Denmark. Kelly Scott's first stone of this third end, a run back attempt. Denmark room. lying room. two, Canada Clean. leading by oh. a score of 2-1. Shooters going, Sash. Yeah. The shooters going, okay, and the stone they Good ran go. back goes past the two red stones in the rings. And now Denmark will attempt to replace the guard. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice Denmark, I would come right into the top of the eight foot, actually, try to fight the top of the eight foot. Make that draw of Kelly Scott a little bit more pressure filled. And it looks like the discussion is about uh, which turn to take to throw this guard because they have to go so far out, almost to the boards, to give broom for Madeline's uh, in turn. It's a great shot. Really good. Denmark lies three. Kelly Scott can't hit either one of those stones and get shot. And she needs to draw the four foot now against three. Perfect. Pressure draw. And really, really, just really solid execution by Denmark here in the first three ends. Well, in this end, uh, Kelly Scott did not play aggressively at all. Very defensive with Last Rock. Didn't have her team draw until, and now forced on a pressure, a pressure draw with Kelly's last one. Needs to bite the forefoot to get a point. Good Huge position. shot early in this championship game for Canada's Kelly Scott facing three Nine, Danish Dina. stones. Seven. Nine. Nine. Line's decent. Might need backing. Oh. Yeah. Let line's it die. Yeah, need the backing. Okay. Let, Let it die. Down. Let it. Wait only. Seven if you can. Wait only. What do you got? Eight, we got seven. eight. Back four. Whoa. Sit. Great will shot. it slide too far or will it hang on? No, it stops in time. It looks like a point for Kelly Scott. Great judgment by the sweepers. Yeah. 
So with the final stone, facing three, yeah. Kelly Scott, under pressure, comes through. And Canada leads by two through three ends of play. <laughs> Lots of line. Easy. Easy. What's that? Lots of You're looking at the harbor in Amori and the bridge that connects east and west. And this is a perfect opportunity to remind you that this Tuesday on an all new Rick Mercer report, Rick goes kayaking in Nova Scotia with MP Scott Bryson and he tries his hand at piloting a tugboat in Halifax Harbor. The Rick Mercer report followed by this hour has 22 minutes this Tuesday, starting at 8 on CBC Television. And once again, the first three stones at the end are nearly perfect by the leads. Anna Hansen will be asked to freeze to the shot stone. And with the positioning of the broom by Angelina Jensen, you get a pretty good indication of just how much movement there is on this playing surface. She's going to roll off the Canadian shot rock. But she just so she's giving me some ice. Okay. The team from Czechoslovakia, spectators here. The Czech Republic representative. Finishing yeah, round robin and play and with a record yeah, of two girl. and nine. Cleanly removing the Danish rock, and uh, Sasha Carter rolls her shooter on top of the Canadian shot rock. Oh, some anxious moments here trying to get by this guard. It's very close. Great result. And again, Sasha kept Carter's rocks just seem to be over curling, curling more than she and Kelly expect. Two feet out. Okay, close to a three. And now a nice chance for Canada to put some pressure on Denmark. They've got their two rocks in the house. Guards are so very difficult to, to place on this ice with the big curl, the big finish very late. Tight line. Three's good. Whoa, let it die. Two and a half? No, no, we're already past it. Now, two. That just gives you an indication <laughs> that, that Sasha's having trouble getting out to the broom, just being uh, inside the line of delivery quite consistently. They, Kelly Scott called that very, very early right off of her release. Uh, tight and sloppy. Not very positive. Other than that, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you have to give that feedback to the players so that they know how to fix it. Yep. Yep. So Angelina's got a chance to make a double yep. and a little roll behind the guard. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Trying to get rid of Whoa. both Canadian Whoa. stones. Whoa. To roll the shooter behind Come cover, in. she doesn't. She doesn't get rid of the second Canadian stone, but she does roll her shooter behind the guard. Very nice. You got a slimmer. You want to try it then? You might get a no. Yeah, you might get a hit and roll. Heel.
Gina Schrader will throw this peel. Yep. Right up. And hope right up. that they'll have an opportunity for some sort right of double up. or hit and roll on the next hard one. Pass. Work it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Hard, 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 hard. Okay. And that's a mistake. They didn't yeah. want to keep that rock in play. Is it a rule on Matt and they're how to double? I think it's better to ram them lige på, Matt. Okay, so we do it. Or maybe we'll roll a little bit. Let's just roll a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. With a nose hit here, there will be a double opportunity. For Team Canada. And Wolf actually can stay buried. If this is a nose hit. Yes! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Tough double, actually. Fairly flat, but good news is Shooter will be behind cover. Like the same turn? Yep. Okay, heel. Even if the double's not made, just rolling over towards that zone would be a pretty good result. Well, Gina can make this shot. She is just an outstanding player. Arguably. The best third yeah. in Canada, that's for sure. Whoa, clean, yeah! Hurry! Trying to remove go, go, the go. top stone and roll the shooter, and she will Good nudge shot. it back into the 12 to lie shot rock. Shooter kept spinning and actually rolled a little bit open. Uh, even the roll works, but I think I was a little late on the call. So Denmark can see most of that stone around that guard, and with the way they get their stones to curl, they should have no trouble staying. Such an unusual release, you'll watch her. She'll look down at the stone. I think I can see most uh, Canadian curlers keep their eye on the target, not look down. Soft weight, so there will be some curl here. Really nice touch. Just enough to push the Canadian stone through the rings. Denmark lies too. It's a really good shot there, again from Denmark. And Kelly Scott forced again. Pressure shot against a couple of Danish stones. And you can see Gina just lining up how far she could roll to get shot stone. You wouldn't want to roll completely behind the second red stone. It'd be a very short little run back. This is, uh, all four ends so far when Kelly Scott's come to throw, she's been looking at multiple Danish stones. Yeah, she's bailed her team out of a, a couple of situations in the early stages of this championship Nine final. See how much more rotation Kelly Scott has on her stones, and okay. much more positive release. Just will not, will not finish the same way the Danish <laughs> ones do. She's throwing more weight as well as the team from Denver. Too much weight for you again. Okay. Yep. Okay. Den er hurtig. Den er hurtig, den her. Ej, den er god. Ja, den er i forretning. Ja, den er vores egen. Ja, ja, ja. Come on. Ja, ja. Will they get past their own stone? No, they're going to get a rub. And they move the Canadian stone back in the eight, but the stone they rubbed also goes in behind cover. They did, and a pretty good break there for, for Denmark. I don't know if we like that turn, though, because that gives her a catcher. Might be able to throw it quietly enough and just tap it straight back past your own with, with a heavy draw. Off, she's on to the red one. Okay. Even if you're here, right? Yeah, exactly. They're deciding to go around this stone. 
There's a good look out of there from the front. You can only see about a third. It'd be pretty tough to get by the guard. And Let's try to tuck around her. Okay. She's top eight, so. So we're going to try to come wide around this stone and try to get a piece of it buried kind of at the back of the forefoot. It should finish enough to get partially buried. She's These trying to make that shot for two a little more difficult for, for Denmark. These are so very difficult to, to judge. You need to come very tight, two-shot stone, and you've only got a foot or two where the rock can stop. On the last end with her Seven final eight. stone, okay. Kelly Scott was drawing that against right three. She doesn't eight have last eight. rock on room this fourth eight. end, room. but she's room. trying yeah. to room. hide Gina. this stone go. Go if you can. behind yes, if the you Danish can. rock room. at the top room. of the eight. The the it's sit. only a question of weight sit. now. Will it sit in time? And it grinds to a halt at the back of the four. That's Another good shot by Kelly Scott. That's fantastic. Beautiful pressure shot. You know how much that was sliding. Good job, guys. Nice shot, Kel. I don't shot. really know if it stopped because you don't give me much reaction. Look at the line here. I'm going more Sorry, by the crowd. It's going sideways at the end. Wonderful yeah. shot. Yeah. Denmark now needs to follow this down and move it back about a foot or two to score their deuce. Definitely makeable, but, but very tricky. And the key for Madeleine is, is to throw it careful enough to make sure she gets her one point. Soft enough that it won't roll off. And just cross your fingers that you have enough weight to push the Canadian stone back for two. Definitely Working to keep it on line. <laughs> now they back shot. off. It looks as though she's got a nice touch here. She'll push it back far enough to get two. Fantastic shot making by both skips. So, a fine final stone out of the hands of Madeline Dupont to tie this game at three. Well, there aren't a lot of Canadian fans attending the World Championship, but those who are here are having a lot of fun. We ran into the three wearing the uh, beer mug hats last evening, and uh, Dana McFadden and Jamie Beavis live in Saipan, and uh, Jamie's father, Ian, from Pilot Mound, Manitoba, and uh, they're here watching this event and really enjoying themselves. I was particularly attracted to the hats. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Canada is very surprised by the, the great play by the team from Denmark so far. And you can tell why Denmark had rolled along and end up, ended up in second place in the round robin. But Canada's experiences with Denmark were blowout games in the round robin and in the one versus two playoff games. So I think uh, Kelly Scott and her teammates need to stay very focused. Well, Jerry Richard uh, is showing some signs of concern in this championship game compared to the... Uh, Easy romp Canada had in the round robin, 8-1, and then 11-3 in the page 1-2 game. But Kelly Scott and her teammates are discovering here what Kelly Wood found out last evening. This Danish team just won't go away. <laughs> well, they can make a lot of shots. And as we said earlier, they stay composed throughout an entire game. Denmark only once has won this World Women's Championship. 1982, Marie-Anne Jorgensen was the champion. Canada has won it 13 times. If they get by this top stone, they've got a beauty. Oh, they get a rub. But it does roll onto the top of the 12-foot. Uh, Denmark lies too. 
big shot here for Sasha Carter. She's had uh, a number of misses already in this game, and this is a good opportunity to kind of turn the tide in this end with uh, Denmark controlling the front of the rings right now. Good double opportunity here for Team Canada. Will she get the roll behind cover? She Side rolls shot. over and just nudges the other Dana Stone. It still remains shot. Yeah. Yeah, needed to get shot stone or move that stone out from yeah, behind the guards. Well, Joan, at the Olympics in 1998 in Nagano, you discovered just how tough the Danes can be in a championship game. Here's Sandra Schmerler quartet just managed to squeak past Helena Blake Laverson. Well, what happens is, uh, I know in that game, we opened with uh, three points early in the game, and we felt also that uh, technically we would be able to outshoot the opposition, but in four rock rule, no lead is safe, and you've got a lot of game, and these teams from Denmark know how to create offense. They're great pressure uh, draws, and so it, uh, I'm not surprised to see this, this uh, team being so mentally tough and know how to create the offense and put pressure on the Canadians and really they are the underdog they have nothing to lose there's no pressure on this team all the pressure is on the Canadian team Sasha Carter removes the Dana Stone to lie shot. Shell Arne Olsen is the coach of this Danish team. We talked about Helena Larvison. It was her silver medal performance in Nagano in 98 that really led to the construction of a curling club in Copenhagen. And that's where these women yep. curl out of the Tarnby oh, Curling Club. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice yeah. shot again. And I, I would God say God. that that God. team's God. influence is still uh, visible in Denmark with uh, Dorte Holm. Um, played with Denise Dupont and represented Denmark in last year's good, Olympic Games in Torino. So the, the team is still influencing curling in Denmark. You got any of this one? Oh yeah, almost half. Okay, let's go peel. So I want to hit the yellow just? Like just clip it, yeah. She wants peel, it right in the pocket. Make sure of this one. Get rid of both reds. Likely that Yellowstone will spin right through the rings and the shooter spin up and out. Clean, clean, close. Whoa, whoa, off. Off. Gina Schrader trying to catch a piece of her own to drive it onto the other yellow. Oh. She'll move the other nice yellow shot. over, but not out of play. Well, it stays she, as shot rock. Nice the shot, good Gina. news about not getting shots on is that her shooter <laughs> and, and the one she hit stayed in play and may come into count later in this end. It's a little bit like we just hold it here over us. Okay, det ser det godt nok ikke sådan ud herfra. Prøv at komme her ned, hvis der er. Selv hvis du rammer den på ydersiden. Ja. It's a tricky little shot here for Denmark. Looking at the angle, whether they make the double or the goal straight sideways onto their own. Prøv ikke den høre over i vores. Den skal. The other decision that they need to make is do they want to leave two Canadian stones in the rings when Canada has last rock, even though they're, they are not shot stone. The other option is the draw, of course, out turn draw through the port. Okay. 
Ja, vi skal ikke lidt gang. Ja, heller gå op. Altså, hun kan godt lave rullet på vores forhold. Jeg tror, det er exakt, hvor de gik til Mike, er det outturned job. Men altså, hvis du lægger ind i... Du lægger ind i fire forhold, for eksempel. Du lægger ind i fire forhold, for eksempel. Denmark stone into the ranks. No way they get their stones curled. They can get it right in here to the top of the button. A good throw. The brush being placed in the middle of the 12 foot. So watch how much the stone moves as it comes to rest. Yep, 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 They get a run. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Just a little bit light, Don. I think had she had a foot more weight, it it would have made it past the guard. Who's gonna take a good two lines now? Go back. Go back to a pretty good spot. Maybe come around. In the sense that you can't remove it. Or you can run that too, but what if I hit half of the top red? I don't get them both. No, you just jam it, but. Yeah, you'd only be in for first. That's not bad. That's Control not bad. Okay, okay. Nine. Still trying to find a way to get those top two yellow stones to count in this end. So this shot is all about the roll. You Yep. Really need to get the roll to the center Please. line to get shot Please. stone Whoa. off Whoa. the shooter. Whoa, close. Yep, go thin. Yep, yep, yep. Kay. And the shooter is going to roll right out of the rings. They jammed it, but uh, Team Canada's lying shot stone now. Hmm. Worked out okay. Not very many options though for Denmark. Good look at it there. They're going to play the draw again. And this time it's Madeleine Dupont that'll try to negotiate this port and get buried on the center line. Waiting for this stone to begin to curl. Just a completely different throw than her sister Denise. They get a rub off the yellow. And that's a break for Denmark to lie shot. It's very fortunate. As I was saying, she was drifting as she was letting that rock go. So therefore, it didn't break like her sister's rock did previously. So plan B got the redirection off of the guard and shot stone. Kelly okay. so Scott forced to play a bump. He's going to tap the stone on the Four right foot, as we're right. looking at it, straight back into the side of the forefoot. There you go. Straight back tap. Yep. So a little more, Gina. You can Gina. see how tricky this straight back tap is. If she had hit it on the outside, the can high side, it'll rub off of their own. And if she over curls, she'll raise it open and give Denmark Mark a chance to hit and roll under. So very tricky for uh, Kelly Scott. A little more again. Well, Kelly's made everything she's looked at so far this game. She needs this one. Weight's good. Might be on the easy okay. side. Weight's yeah. fine. Got Whoa. room right now. Whoa. It's not bending Nine. yet. Whoa line. Whoa, Whoa line. Nine. Whoa. Come on. Is it Sash, going to bend shooter. enough to yeah. push it back? Renee, take the other one. The it's other going yellow, to yellow. bump on her own, Whoa. and the shooter will okay. roll. In the 12, that is second shot. Okay. Interesting now for mm -hmm. Team Denmark. They really need to get another stone in the rings if they want to prevent Kelly Scott from having a little short raise for three. So look at it there. Dangerous situation for Denmark. Yeah, 
Vi så ikke bare spille garden for den? Hvad har hun så? Jeg tror, det er godt, hun kan komme ind den her vej også. Jeg tror, jeg, hun kan komme ind den her vej og skyde den ud? Det tror jeg. Det tror jeg. Jeg tror, hun kan komme ind den vej. Hvad så med at hvad hedder det, spille den der ud, der ligger deroppe? Jamen, så får hun altså, hvis hun kan komme ind den vej, får hun stadig træ. Nå. Kom ind den vej og fjerne vores. Men altså, lave, lave, laver vi denne her, så spiller, så, så, så spiller vi altså, hvor hun kun kan få en. Det har ikke sådan ret i. Laver vi den, den der, kan hun kun få en. Jeg synes, okay, okay. Jeg synes helt klart, det er den her. Det er det nemme shot. Problemet er, hvis den ruller ud. Ej, det gør den ikke. Ej, du har den indenfra også, du. Det skal du den af. Ja. Skal vi tage den udenfra? Der er taget den så mange gange. Det bestemmer du selv. Hvor vil du have den fra, Mette? Okay, du bestemmer. Jeg er ligeglad. Hva? Det er lige meget for mig. Du bestemmer. Indenfra er fint. Indenfra. Der er god plads at rulle på, ikke? Jo, der er et helt hus. Du har bare sat den ud. Du har den udefra, så får du den udefra. Ja, ah, indenfra. Men det kunne være fint, hvis du rullede bag garderne. Yes, jeg skal okay. nok holde øjnene åbne. Jeg synes, der er meget mindre her. Fair bit of discussion okay, before the decision to play this shot was finally arrived at. Well, it seems like such a simple, a simple shot, but it's very, very important that their shooter stays. And this is wide of the broom. Er på? Nej, den ruller ud. Okay, Mette. And the shooter is going to roll too far. Ja, det er en god fart. Det er ikke lækker fart, ja. Well, question for Kelly Scott. Do you want to try that little angle raise and try to score two, or do you play the tap again? Den var for hurtig, var den ikke? Nej, nej, nej. Den var for hurtig, var den ikke? Nej, nej, nej. Den var for hurtig. She'll play the safe shot for one. Same shot that she attempted on her first. It didn't curl okay. enough. So I'm sure she's tightened it, the broom. Both weight and line are critical here for Kelly Scott with her final stone of the fifth end. Denmark threatening to steal to take the lead for the first time. Wait, wait. Whoa. What do you got? Whoa. Eight. Whoa. You gotta wait for line. Wait for line. Line's fine. You can go if you have to. We don't need to. Okay, you got nose. Another good shot by Kelly Scott under pressure. She bumps it back to the four to score one here on end number five. So at the midpoint of this world championship final, Canada leads Denmark by a single point. Welcome back to the Amori Prefectural Skating Rink in this championship game. Canada leading Denmark 4-3 after five ends of play. Certainly a contrast to what we witnessed in round robin play and in the page 1-2 playoff game. Well, I'm, I'm sure Canada is surprised by the play by Denmark, but they are playing so very well, making all the shots necessary, and that's going to be a patience game for Canada. Kelly Scott has bailed her team out a couple of times in this game, Mike. She has. Almost every end that she's been looking at two or three Danish stones and has really been in trouble, and only her good play has actually given Canada the lead. She created a deuce on her own yeah, in the yeah. first end, That's it. Okay. and then again in the third end. Look at the three more stones. Three more Danish stones on her last rock, forcing her to draw the side of the forefoot. A pressure pack draw for Kelly Scott, and she breathed a sigh of relief when she saw this stone dig in at the back of the four to just be shot rock. And then a great shot by Madeline DuPont with her final stone of the fourth end after Kelly Scott had drawn behind cover with her final shot. Kelly has been saving this Canadian team so far and yet still Madeline DuPont comes in with the perfect weight. Enough to get one and knock back the Canadian stone, get her two points. Very impressive by that young shot maker. Well, I'm sure there were many curling fans in Canada who thought, aha, uh -huh, Canada playing Denmark in the championship game rather than Kelly Wood of Scotland, who handed Scott her only loss in round robin play. But this Danish team, as they uh, did against the Scots, are hanging in there. They're, uh, they've been very tough all week, and uh, they're in their second place in the round robin for a good reason. They're showing it today. 
4-3, Canada leads with five ends remaining in this 2007 World Championship. Kelly Scott attempting to become the first woman to ever win a World Junior title and a women's world crown. The 2007 World Women's Curling Championship on CBC, presented by Ford, built for life in Canada. The 2007 World Women's Curling Championship on CBC is brought to you by the original Strauss Heart Drops, trust the tradition. By M&M Meat Chops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Tim Hortons, roll up the rim to win. Yep. <laughs> An interesting pattern Michael. formed by the girders in the ceiling of the Amori Prefectural Skating Rink. Okay, go back. Really a very nice venue for this 2007 World Championship competition. It is a little chilly inside the building, however, but not as cold as it was in Nagano in uh, the nice, curling competition that was actually held in Keryazawa at the Olympics in 98. I think if you talk to the players, they, they don't mind it being a little chilly because they get so warm while they're playing. It's the spectators that aren't moving that it's, it, it feels a little uncomfortable for. You can tell it's uh, a little chilly in here, the fact that the Canadian players have not taken off their jackets. Nice start there for Renee Simons. She would like to say hi back home to her, her boys, Kyle and Cody. In fact, the whole team wanted to say hello to everyone in Kelowna at the curling club and to their families. And Gina, especially, a happy birthday to her husband, Jeremy, and her brother, Jeff, whose birthdays are just ending in the middle of this telecast at back in BC. Oh. Hanny Hansen is just going okay, to touch the Canadian okay. stone, pushing it okay. even further behind cover. Her shooter rolls to yeah. the back of the four. Ten. World Championship trophy. These two teams are playing for Canada, trying to win it for a 14th time, Denmark for a second time. Sasha Carter, the low shooter for the Canadian squad through the first five ends of play. She removes the stone, rolls just a little too far. They wanted that stone to come to a stop closer to the center line. Angelina Jensen drives the guard past the Canadian shot rock. Kelly Scott wants a three point. Okay. That's just a lack of experience. They were looking for the run back and realizing they weren't going to get that. They needed to switch to that plan B and roll the shooter away a lot sooner than what they did. Three, leaving three, the guard is kind of Stay close. Two and the worst half, of both worlds missed the run back, left the guard. High. A great right opportunity for ahead, if you Team can, Canada guys. to put some pressure good. Just gotta on Denmark for the first the time yeah, in this game. Finish it, finish it. Go, go, go. It's right there. Keep it going, go, keep go, it going, go. keep it going. Oh keep it going, right I'd up. Just like to get past that red zone just to good. make a, a run back attempt on the red guard much more difficult. So two good shots there by Sasha. As you said, Dawn, she needs to bring her numbers up uh, and uh, start playing with her opposition. The Denmark team all week has 
struggled with staying consistent and we saw them play just fantastic in this first five ends but the question will be can they continue yes. that level yes. of play yes. for another five yes. Jensen again will drive that top Canadian guard harmlessly past the shot rock and now there are two red stones sitting out front and Kelly Scott wants a Canadian rock sitting in front of them. So oh, two hot. big misses there <laughs> for Denmark. The only good news is that they could either fairly easy double to get rid of both the yellows. That's what that's why Kelly Scott strung her guard in front of these stones, trying to Two. take the double away. Higher the better. Just be careful not to line up we? this guard on coming up to yellow onto one of those red stones because they are red, fairly yeah. high. Close. Not to it yet. Close. Yep. Yep. Right to it little whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. whoa. Stick stay close. Get yep. around yep. it. Hard, 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 hard around it. Hard. Go, 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 go. That was far. Worked out okay. Well, it's a good plan B call. That's that's just good communication, able to to decide where it's going, so you, you know that you can bring that rock around. So they got still two gold guards left. Yeah, but we missed the red vector. Now we open up. No, we can't go to the red vector. 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 We can't go to the red Lee, yeah. So, so most of the input is coming from Madeline Dupont. So they got some first and then she said to us, she has skipping experience. I think about for the little of the other middle. They must say, I'm going you're going to run that red guard back, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Look, the initial call was just to play the double, hit the outside of the, the guard. Look, they're going to run the middle one back. Madeline's older sister, Denise, yes. will Doing attempt it. to do that. Yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, this going to catch Ah, go spell, Denise. And those two red stones now are overlapped, so there's no run back opportunity on those two. Right on top, top eight, top 12. Great chance for really Canada. That much more. Gina no Schrader, get a rock in be behind these guards and really going to put a lot of pressure on Denmark to try to score with their last rock. Rammer den på den her side, jeg er lidt nervøs for, hvor langt vi skal på den her. Det er lige meget. Der, der skal altså bare være knald ja, på. Præcis. Mm. Den før? Ja. Might be able to get all three of those guards moving. Ja, hvis du kan spille den rundt op i en sådan her, eller hvad? The red one touching the center line first. The right is we're looking at it and kill the yellow as well. Certainly need to open things up. Madeline Dupont is not looking at much here right now. Yes! Oh, we've been from Yep, 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 the skip, finishing with a record of four wins and seven losses. Andrea Schopp ranks number two all time in the world championship wins lost. as a skip, 82. 
A long way back of Jordy Nordby's 111. Yeah. And you're okay if you're sure that side. Okay. Like if your guard's on that side. Three. A very okay. comfortable end two here and for Canada. Make the guards even. Need a three. Just placing guards, two. even have Need a little bit of range of error just in putting these guards up because of just the, two. the second oh, the guard guard yellow guard over. belonging oh, to Canada is already there. Line's fine. Let it die. Let it die. Good shot. Hey. Over curl. Took a funny little curl there. <laughs> and high. Therefore, there will be room for Madeline Dupont to come in and play a little tap. Five has been two. Five and two. Five and two. So just back four foot. You can get shot stone here. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. Kelly Scott opening the door ever so slightly. For Denmark. Cool. Whoa, whoa. Dylan. Whoa. And a little inger. Whoa. Oh. Earlier in this two. game, we saw Madeline two. Dupont with a two. nice touch two. to tap two. back two. a Canadian stone and score two. two. And again, she had nice weight for the tap back. Just didn't okay. come tightly enough to the high guard. on top of it. No trouble now for Denmark. Kelly Scott hits this anywhere on the center line side and rolls in. Can we hit at the red this way? Uh, looks like enough room. Is there enough room for the out turn, Renee? Yep. I'll go look. Yep. Maybe a 10. Kelly Scott can have a roll into the side of the button. I don't know how yeah. Denmark scores here. And I think and, there's, and there's definitely it. something for Denmark to learn from this end yeah. as well about you like know, they're playing these high, the big weight hits, and they're not throwing them very accurately. They were very successful with the very soft weight and the draws that they were playing earlier. Oh, and, and more importantly, too, they were trying to run back and not just peeling things out and, and, and opening things up. They, they left guards in really bad positions because of the calls they made. So a big chance here for Kelly Ten. Scott. Oh. Either side has been able to generate a steal so far in this championship game. Kelly Scott attempting to do it here on end number six. She doesn't want to jam this stone on the back. Okay, that's good. That's what happens, but she does lie too. Well, she got away with it because she split it right out of the rings. Had she jammed it fully, there would have been an opportunity for Denmark to get two. Yeah. So how do you score yeah. here for Denmark? Do you try the thin double or do you try drawing the button? Or a redirect on the on the draw as well. Mette? Yeah. Hvem er sådan en som mod skotterne i går? Det er hurtigt nok. Når man i sidste ende. Well, we talked earlier about Angelina Jensen calling the game and Madeline Dupont throwing last rocks. But Madeline Dupont has a lot of input into all the decisions that are made. Well, at the end of the day, she has to throw the rock, so she'd like to see what, she, what she's facing. And we just talked about where the strength is for Denmark. It is in the soft weight, the touch shots, not in the big weight hits. I think they should consider that when making this decision. It's almost identical to the shot she made last night against Kelly Wood in the 10th end. Little rub off. Stone almost exactly this position. Well, they're smiling here in Amori, but uh, it was a disappointing week for <laughs> Team Sweden. The Annette Norberg foursome tried to make it three world titles in a row. They did not qualify for the playoffs with their six and five record. The danger of playing this quietly is if you throw it kind of back ape away and you miss the rub, this rock will slide right through. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get him? Whoa, whoa. Can I get him? Oh, I can't get him. Oh, I can't get him. Playing straight draw, actually. This looks really good again. Playing her strength. And let's take a look. That's very close. I wouldn't want to hazard a guess on this one. You see the pinhole. It looks as though it may be yellow. It's yellow, I think, but if you want to measure it. It's 
Confirmation yeah, from Angelina Jensen. Okay. And it is a steal of one for Kelly Scott. And she now leads Denmark by two with four ends remaining. Well, this area just outside of Amari is very popular with skiers. They get a lot of snow here, and the Hakoda Mountain Range in the Amori Prefecture attracts skiers from all over this island nation. Tuesday night on CBC Television, it's the hour at a special time. George's guests will include Academy Award-nominated actor Mark Wahlberg and Master Corporal Paul Franklin a medical technician who lost both legs during a bombing in Kandahar. It's a remarkable story of bravery and recovery. Don't miss the hour at a special time, Tuesday at 9 on CBC Television. Skal vi fandme lade dem kigge den? This is the first time that the Women's World Championship has ever been held in Japan. Canada next year will host the event for a tenth time. It will be held in Vernon, British Columbia, March 22nd to the 30th. Måske fem. Åh, åh, åh. Ti, fem. This end is setting up very similarly to the last end, and Anna Hansen's second shot when she attempted the freeze just rolled off. And this one has better weight. Well done. She would have liked, liked it to curl just a tiny little bit more, but... Three. Okay. Three, and if it comes into four, that's fine. Okay. Wait for it for line. Eight, Whoa. Four, five. Starting to bend. Five. Line's oh, nice. Oh, it has yeah, to bend a long way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right whoa. in on top. Right on top. No, we're not Bump past it yet. Stay with it. Not whoa, past whoa. it yet. Whoa, whoa. Just yeah. a little <laughs> rub, and uh, that turns out to be a Just the weight held it out there. fortunate rub for the Canadian team. Very much so. Good break. Ramen, skulle du ramme vores egen her, gør det ikke noget? Bare spil den 11. Okay. Ja. Ellers skal du tage den lange her, men den er svær. Så tag den anden. Er det en 11 fart? Ja, det skal gøre ikke noget, så tager garden. Looking for a nose hit here and try to, try to lie too. Some of the members of the United States team, Debbie McCormick and her squad, runners up last year in Grand Prairie to Annette Norberg. They qualified for the playoffs, but uh, ran into a very hot Kelly Wood of Scotland in the 3-4 game. Nudging the stones back, then Denmark lies shot. Think you can get this side? Nobody called. Close, yeah. Okay, or nose. Okay. So a little run back attempt here. Nine. Right on the nose would uh, leave Just Canada nine. lying too. Yeah. It's like even a touch on the, on the high side will still. Okay. No hit would go would get rid of both Room. Danish Whoa. stones. Well, right off. Right off. Right off, right off. Stay close. Yep, yep. Over top. And both Danish stones roll out of the rings. Canada lies too. 8 3. Oh. Pretty good result. It didn't seem that much. No, it actually didn't when it hit it. Great result there for Canada. 
Angelina Jensen will try to make a play on Shot Stone, try to get a little roll yeah. under the guard. Yeah. Lean hard. Yeah. Lean hard. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good shot, Rock. Just missed the sweep on that. The Rock kind of took a little spin towards the center line as well. A little more than half. Okay, let's go nine and a half. Gina Good Schrader show. makes contact Nine. and removes the shot rock, just nudges her own as the shooter rolls out of the rings. Now Denmark has a chance to get behind one of these guards, set up for their two points. I'm just a little surprised how much weight Kelly Scott has thrown on that shot. A couple of two or three occasions so far in this game, they've been throwing almost normal hit weight where, you know, hack would do. And, it's much easier to save the shooter. And that's certainly yep. what's working for Denmark in yep. the first five ends oh, with a very yep. soft control weight. Yep, Rathling. Yep, Rathling. Come to. Yep. 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 They rub off the Canadian Double stone second, and into the open. Okay, in the eight foot, they had to desperately so brush it to get it past the their own. Just an incredible amount of curl compared to the Canadian stones. So you look at this, get, get by the top guard. Get this that, hey? Next Yellowstone is so more than a less weight, nine and half a half rock half. buried, and it's, it's really it just hits it quite hard, actually. A little disappointed with the result. But a uh, good break. Again for Team Canada. Yep. Wait, sure. I can see more clean, of this stone. Clean. That's some room. Clean. Yep. Clean. Oh. Yep. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good shot. shot. Nice shot, Gina. Good shot, Gina. The roll of another foot better and a half. Better finish on that than the first one. Would have made it even better. Mike, you talked about all the uh, movement that the Danes get out of their stones. What is it that they do that results in all that movement? Well, if you watch their release, there's very little extension. Just kind of drop their hand off the stone and it starts to curl very early. And quite often with their interns especially, they actually turn their hand towards the broom and actually get the stone curling right away. And it's just really tough to follow for Team Canada. It's really hard to... to to replicate that, and, and if you can control that release, it's a big advantage. Uh, you know, if your stones are curling more than your opponents, that's why when we're playing big games, we always try to find stones that curl because they're so difficult to follow. If you can get stones buried. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's nice. Is that one of the reasons that Canadian teams in the past have had difficulties on straighter ice against uh, the European think, uh, teams? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think uh, on straight ice, yeah, having a soft release like that where the stones curl out of your hand is definitely an, an advantage. And quite often, the, the ice conditions that uh, teams, okay, Canadian champions play on at their line. national championships, you don't Just need so to throw the stone no like that to get it to curl. And conversely, the, the European ice conditions tend to be straight ice. So these teams learn to do that so that they can more. get the result they're looking for. Well, you talked about uh, almost bent arm upon release for the Danish player. Released. And I think we'll see a contrast with the extension by Kelly Scott. Right. Watch when she releases the stone. Now she kind of extends her hand out and, and uh, puts a very positive rotation on the stone. Yep, seven, eight, eight. Let it break. eight, eight. Okay, just to seven. No, not bend seven down what ends up happening yet. is your stone runs Here down the sheet at the beginning of its seven. path T for a long, long time. Even and it will finish hard at the end, but again, it's it's a completely different Curling flight really good. plan from, from the, uh, the Danish stones. Curling good. Seven plus. Yep. 
Whoa, whoa. It's nice a lie, too. Very nice. Go, go. Kelly's had really good control of her all the way. grab the curl to start losing the weight. Nice shot. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's Pre-shot high fives on the part of the Danish DuPont sisters. She can roll the stone in here buried. I don't know why Kelly's not in play. She may be forced to a wide in-turn freeze, but really put quite a bit of pressure on Kelly Scott. You can see the ice she's taking for her hit. Almost the same ice Kelly had for her draw. About six inches less. She's got a nose hit. A little sigh of relief for Team Canada. Nose hit may leave uh, a double opportunity for, for Denmark, but as we've talked about, it's not their strength throwing the big weight Yeah. And Kelly Scott's taken about six Nine, inches three. less ice than than uh, Denmark had, and still trying to hit it higher and trying to make the roll. She got a pretty good read on her own release compared to what the Danes are doing. Room. Clean. Kelly Close. Scott with her yeah, final yeah. stone. Hurry! Hurry! Hard! Hard! Come on, go, go, go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hit and roll yeah, of beauty. Shot. She's just playing nice so well. Good job. Good nice roll. Absolutely amazing. She's so focused and she's. She absolutely is nailing the broom. She's reading the ice very well for herself. It's got a great feel. Things are really coming together for Kelly Scott. This is a very difficult shot to score now for him. You see that red guard way out in front. That's almost in the path of this draw for Denmark with the amount of ice they need to take with the way they release the stone. You have to go really hard to get past that red guard and then sweep, continue sweeping to get past their own stone at the top eight foot. Extremely difficult shot. Pressure on the shoulders of 19-year-old Madeline Dupont, her final stone of the seventh end. In danger of giving up another steal, trailing by two. Yep, yep, Max, Come on, let's get in that spot tonight. Gotta go. It's going to be a steal of one. Will it be a steal of two? That's very close. One for sure for Canada. They may have to measure to determine whether it's two. One for sure. One for sure. Okay. I think it's a measure. Okay. So we can get rid of that one. Yeah. Measure, please. So one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, back-to-back -back steals for Canada could be huge in determining the final outcome in this championship game. And if it's two points, it would really give Canada control with three ends remaining. Uh, first real mistake we've seen from Denmark. The last end, the steal, she made a really good attempt with her drawway, but really was not close there to, to scoring. She wasn't that far off on this draw attempt either. Joe Potter, the Canadian official who will measure to determine whether it's one or two in the steel department for Canada. It's very close, but Canada will win the measure. Two is huge for Team Canada. A steal of one on six, a steal of two more on seven. 
And with three ends left, Canada has a four point lead. Welcome back to Amori, Canada, with three ends remaining, leads Denmark by four in this championship game. And at the risk of being pushed out of the booth by Joan McCusker, I will make the comment that Kelly Scott has made some incredible shots in this game for her team to score. The rest of the team has supported her, but Kelly herself has really made some shots. Oh, she's she's on a mission, absolutely. Um, you shot, Renee. Go. This, I, I'm so impressed by the focus and discipline showed by this team all week. They didn't, they didn't look overconfident. They didn't look complacent as they rolled through this this entire Big round robin. But Kelly herself has just been so impressive. And one of the advantages of not riding that emotional roller coaster, they keep very calm at all times, even when they make the great shots, is that they're they're able to keep that intensity level right up, right throughout the game. Well, I don't think there's any question. This is a different Kelly Scott we have seen at the Scotties in Lethbridge and here at the World Championship than we saw at the trials in Halifax and at the World Championships Falcon. last year in Grand Prairie. Well, then they have talked about that themselves, about their journey and the, the, the continuing to try to improve so that when things didn't work out, they went back to their game and tried to make improvements. They've uh, changed a little bit of their strategy, tried to play a little bit more aggressively, but they've also changed a lot of technical parts of their game, starting at the, the beginning of the year, doing uh, some intense training to get in this position right now and that is uh, poised to win a world women's championship. Sasha Carter removes the Danish okay. stone. Canada lies three. It was this point in the game yesterday when Denmark was down four points to Scotland that they became very dangerous. They didn't have to make a lot of decisions. They didn't play a lot of big weight shots. They moved rocks around and made big saves and freezes late in the game. This weekend, the National is taking place in Port yep. Hawkesbury, one of the tour major events. And Kevin Martin will play Kevin Cooey in the final. And Canada's representative in the men's world that gets underway on March the 31st, running through to April 8th in Edmonton. Glenn Howard and his team, we understand, are watching at 4 o'clock in the morning this women's championship. And to see how it's done. <laughs> Getting some pointers from uh, Kelly Scott and her teammates. Always good. I spoke with Richard Carr just before our telecast, and they lost the quarterfinals. Pretty good showing. Nice to get some games in, though, before the World Championships. Usually difficult to find games between a Canadian Championship and a World Championship, so it was good for the guys to, to get out there and get back on the ice. Preparation for Edmonton. Sasha Carter trying to run this Danish stone through cleanly. She does. That was great brushing by uh, Simons and Gina Schrader. I kind of see that out of her hand. She threw it good. I just thought she didn't have a ton of Falcon. Well, the one major difference we're going to see from Kelly Scott, I think, and what we saw out of Kelly Wood is the strategy here in, in the eighth end. Even though with the four-point lead, they, they understand what needs to get done. And I think Kelly Scott, or Kelly Wood, pardon me, just forgot where she, what she needed to do to win that game uh, in the eighth and ninth ends. And, and combined with a good execution from Denmark, really, it ended up costing the game. But uh, I don't expect Kelly Scott to make too many mental errors from this point on. Okay. Yeah, no. Well, you 
Vi må være lavere. Så er det bare So Canada will continue to remove these red stones belonging to Denmark, and as long as they can keep their shooters in front of the T line, they're not in a lot of danger. Denmark would have to deal with them, move them out of play, make some sort of doubles, tap them back, and then freeze to them. So no danger yet for Canada here in the eighth end. And that's, that's even better. Get rid of the, the rock behind the T-line. In the page, 1-2 playoff game was okay. on the seventh end when they had last rock advantage that Canada scored five to put the game away en route to the 11-3 triumph. Right now, Angelina Jensen is looking at four Canadian stones playing this eighth end. Right, so as Joan mentioned, the, the big difficulty is all of them are in front of the T-line. Huh? The original call by Angelina Jensen was to freeze on shot stone, which I, I still think is the is probably their best chance to try to get a miss out of Canada and, and end up using that rock to score. There's a good example of what Mike was talking about as Denise DuPont was drifting away and turning her hand towards the target with her intern. Things are getting more and more difficult for Denmark. Just not as precise as they were early in the game. So do you really think that was up? Good shot by Kelly Scott on the first end of this game, enabled her to score two. Denmark came back with a single point. Canada got one back in the third as Kelly Scott drew against three. Then on the fourth, good shot by Madeline Dupont to score two. Canada picked up one on the fifth for a 4-3 lead through five. And then after scoring a single point, on five, they stole one more on the sixth and two more with a measurement on the seventh for this four-point advantage. It didn't finish quite what I was expecting. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Things are a little messy here for, for Denmark. No, okay, okay, the feet. Do we start? 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 Do we Trying to run that stone on the center line back. In any case, it's big trouble right now for Denmark. I'd like to move some of these Canadian stones out. Well, two go out of the rings, but the shot stone still remains on the button and it's covered. Well, the question for Kelly Scott right now is, do you want to just kill that stone and not bring a deuce into play here at all for Denmark? Or do you try to create a steal? You're in a pretty good situation. You're lying three. If it carries in deeper and we've got good line, that's fine. You try to close the deal Around here in the, the eighth end. Anyway. Well, it is a, it's a difficult pick. They would use the other turn and get rid of the red stones, but it would open up the freeze on shot stone for Denmark. I like this call. Hans are saying hi to Gimli. Done a great job here this week, as he always does. Should have enough ice to just get curl at the end here. So I really like this call by Kelly Scott. It's a, it's a chance to really put Denmark away. Go for the jugular, get another rock in here. She's playing so well. Place this stone. Just the three, Gina. Yep. Twelve. Yep. Yep. Line. Hurry, line. <laughs> Hurry, line's good. Hard Hurry line. Hold it out there. Hard line. Room. Five. Yeah. Five. Room. Room. No. Room. No. No. no, no, yep. no we're good. Room. Seven. Lots of line. Room. There's good. 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 Room. Right on top whoa, of it. Whoa, right whoa. To it. Let it bend. Let it bend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot. Great shot. Just not making 
very many mistakes at all. And, and the entire team helps that. Nice shot. That uh, shot making. She's, Sasha's calling down where those rocks are. They don't want to sweep them. The, Gina's calling great line. That's how you make the, the perfect shots and the placement of stones. Yeah. Well, Kelly Scott has certainly seemed to be a woman on a mission this week in Amora, the 2007 yeah. World Championship. And definitely a mission that was started back at the Scotties Tournament of Hearts held in Lethbridge this year. This was the leading team during the, the Canadian Championships as well. Yeah. And of course, as Team Canada, they will be returning to the Scotties in 2008 in Regina from the 16th to the 24th of February. Dupont as she gets both Canadian stones out of the forefoot to lie shot. Great shot. I'd say there's quite a future ahead for the, the Dupont sisters. The, really well done. Leaves this little short run back as you see the shooter shot stone just rests right behind. The Yellowstone belonging to Canada that's just biting the eight foot, and that's what Kelly Scott will be attempting. Pretty simple shot, really. I'd like to hit this about half a stone, and she'll stay buried. Clean. That room, that room. Whoa. Yep. Kelly Scott Whoa. with her final Whoa. stone Whoa. on eight. Whoa. Trying to run her yeah, own yeah. back onto the Danish yeah. stone. Whoa, whoa. She got Watch the right the angle. She has. She lies covered. Solid. Nice shot. Solid. Good job. Nice shot, Scott. Nice and clean again. Okay. I think a year ago it was fair to say that uh, that that type of shot was not Kelly Scott's forte, but uh, <laughs> some really good changes over the summer months and that she's definitely a really good hitter now. So great to get good rolls today. DuPont now with the final stone of eight, drawing against two Canadian rocks. She has to get to the four. Will it stop in time? Stop. It stopped just in time. So it's a single point on end number eight. Canada leading by three, but regaining last rock advantage with two ends remaining in this 2007 championship game. And playing the ninth end at the Women's World Championship in Amore, Canada leading Denmark by three with last rock advantage. A reminder, Monday at 8 on CBC Television, don't miss a special encore presentation of this inspiring story of hope, courage, love and trust. Tom McCamus stars in Waking Up Wally, the Walter Gretzky story, Monday at 8 on CBC Television. Renee Simons just firing this one through. Canada just starting to run a little bit. They've, they've got the three point yeah, yeah. lead it. and last rock. Yeah. So you'll know that Sasha Carter will be asked to, uh, to peel on her next one. Okay, 
Kāds par laiks, ne? Kā viņš, ne? Laik tikai. Ko, ej, ko. Okay, and the stone just thrown is the one that Sasha Carter is taking aim at. She could attempt a, a double peel, use the other turn, drive it into those other two, not feeling the need to take that risk. Clean. Leaving one side Clean of the sheet the open wall. for herself Clean. in case she needs to draw danger of playing the doubles. You'd roll your shooter over a foot or so off the center line and perhaps cut off a path to the button. But. You say it's almost worth the, worth the risk. Try to make the double. You may wait to see if they can group the stones a little bit more closely together before she tries the double. Yep. Yep. Please. Yep. Let me. Oh. Kan spela lite nåt. Det blir så det är nåt fånt den. Det är sånt dubbel med de två andra. Well, Canada leads the world in having won this trophy 13 times. It has gone to a Canadian women's team, three times to the Sandra Schmerler rank in 1993, 1994, and 1997. Yep. Yep. Hard. You gotta hold clean, it on your side. Clean, clean, clean. Whoa, whoa. Clean. Yep. Clean, clean. We're good. Atta girl. Two very nice throws there by Too Sasha Carter. And Kelly Scott obviously just leaving herself a, a draw path. They said that was that was a better opportunity to try the double peel. Because <laughs> really the far one is kind of had that one more pointed at yeah, the rock. So, but oh, here we am to go for fun. It go fun, good fun. Oh, sir, go fun, yeah, yeah, good fun. Yep. Nemo. Oh, oh, oh. Eight, two, five. Eight. And then, got the knees. Got the knees. Oh, you're coming back. Come on, let's go on, let's go on. No. Do you want to go on? I think it's a little bit. I'm not going to go on. Gina Schrader now taking a run at the uh, high guard. Let me go on. Just a little that bit full one, of the broom. This far one. Misses the intended peel. Got very fortunate to get rid of one <laughs> of the red guards. <laughs> the problem was she got rid of the one that was doing the least amount of damage to them. And, yeah. and uh, Gina will not be happy. Double center guard now. So what, what can happen at this stage for Denmark is they'll try to get one buried in the forefoot. Kelly Scott will try a peel. They'll put oh, another one in the forefoot. And then another peel, and then Kelly's hell ended up having to draw the oh, forfeit oh, against oh, two. Oh, 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 it's a big oh, miss oh, by Gina. Mild plus. Five, two. Come on, two. Come on, two. Come on, two. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yeah. This stone really came walking across, oh, 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 and she oh, oh, got oh, back oh, behind oh, the two stones up front. Maybe a little exposed on the up turn side, however. Well, once those rocks of Denise Dupont start to curl, they're just uncontrollable. And as Mike pointed out, here's the first one in behind the guards grid, brushing to squeeze it around. And now Canada's faced with a, a single peel, but, but there will be some pressure on Kelly Scott's last stones of this end. Not much different than what we've seen through the first eight ends. She wants to get rid of one and her shooter. Okay, the front one will go. Good shot. Good shot. God, it's hard to walk over with the cross. Nice shot, Gina. Yeah. Yeah. Most getting naked. Most getting dick. How much can you say it in here? Three. Nothing different than that. Different than that, so. Yeah. Maybe I'll see. More or less. The question was, do you go around now or do you throw another guard? I think they've elected to play the guard. And then go around on their last round. 
Ja, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Måtte den ikke gerne falde? Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> Pretty good shot. Yep. yep. Nice Godt spiller med det. Another great shot <laughs> for Madeline Dupont. <laughs> we got a little bit. I don't think you have any more now, hey? No, I'd say not. Call like a timeout, please. I'm tempted. Time out, please. Time. Time. I don't mind that. Because you take the French. I think I like the guard. You Why, like the guard? Though? You think she can wrap another one? Well, I do, yeah. Even if she, yeah. Well, she's back here, though. That opens up your draw path. I'm thinking you're going to be drawing right anyway, yeah. so this might give you just a... You just don't want to block your own draw path, right? No, if she gets no. any kind of hit and flop to take yeah, away your draw touchy. path. You want to be right back here, and then what if she is top button? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. But if we peel the guard, it might be hard to score. We peel the guard. Is she going to try to come around this She though, can or? just on top of five. Like, I think regardless, you're going to be drawing. Make her chase us. Do you like that at all, Chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like the you draw. do. Okay. Yeah, there's no point hitting any guards at this point. Yeah. Uh, you know, they just were coming around. We're looking at two anyway, so. Come yeah. deep enough to be shot? Yeah, well, just if we can just tuck it enough that she's got to move us to get shot, yeah. and then she might pop Even open. Even if we've got good line and we stop. Sit, yeah. sit right in there. That's as long good as there she too, doesn't yeah. have the roll behind. Yep. Okay, yep. thank you. Excellent, Megger. Okay. Well thought out. Feeling that top guard does does no good at all to to Kelly Scott. And the question is, where do you want to put your own stone to give yourself the best opportunity to score? Good news is this is also a kind of a practice draw for Kelly as well. She will be drawing on her last stone. You knew she was going to have to make a pressure draw on one of her two stones. Had she peeled okay. this first one, so it would be on her next one. So now she's going to make the pressure draw on this one, hopefully make it very good, and might even have an opportunity to score two. She certainly has had wonderful draw away up to this point. So the whole team has placed stones just perfectly. Kelly Scott's first stone really of this ninth end. Denmark okay. lies really one. Good. Nine's good. Got room. Yeah. Got room. Got room. Got room. Wait only. Six. Got room. Need Lot help. Room. Nope. Back T. Back T. No. A lot of room. Back T. Back T. Wide open. A lot of line, as you can room. see. Got room. As long as we're shot. Yep. Yep. <laughs> hard. 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 <laughs> No inside roll available, but uh, know, a good freeze, and Canada does not score here. Yeah. So two options is a freeze or a little tap back, and to lie too, just to put the pressure on Kelly on Scott on her last. I think if she gets shot stone, Kelly Scott will put throw button. her last one away and Line. give her the single put point. Button. Put button. Put button. Put button. Let's go on. Yep. 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 Yep, oh, watch yep, this curl yep, yep, right yep, now. Yep, 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 Does yep, she have the weight yep, to get there? She's oh. on her own and won't roll far enough. Okay, man. Oh, the face. Face. I don't see Kelly Scott making a real strong attempt to score two here. She's got the, uh, the outside of the forefoot to get her second point. She just, as you said, Mike, doesn't want to take the chance of bumping in that Danish stone in the top four. Yeah, one's enough. Absolutely, four-point lead coming home. Kind of out in good the position for Canada. stuff here, but uh, <laughs> we should have lots of ice in if it curls up to T-line. Yep. Perfect. Let us know what we got coming into the rings. Well, it has been quite a curling performance from 29-year-old Kelly Scott in this Women's World Championship final. A little less. Than if she can oh get to all four it's here, she could get right two and really put this game away. Room. Not bending yet. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let it come up a little bit more. No, didn't catch enough. Sit. Good Sorry, try, Kel. Okay. One yellow. She's going to pick up a single One point yellow. and head to the 10th end, leading Denmark by four. A very Ooh. comfortable position oh. for <laughs> Kelly Scott. And Team Canada, it's all over. They are conceding. Denmark is not going to play the 10th uh, end. They're conceding victory to Canada. So this is a moment of celebration for Kelly Scott and her Team Canada teammates, Gina Schrader, Sasha Carter, Renee Simons, fifth player, Michelle Allen, and of course, their coach, Jerry Richards. And Kelly Scott becomes the first junior women's champion as a skip back in 1995 to go on to win a women's world championship. Sasha Carter was with her in 1995 and celebrates this triumph in Japan as well. But you know, when you look back at the disappointment of 1995, losing the trials final to Shannon Clybrink in Halifax, having to bounce back, in London, Ontario in 2006 with the disappointment of not making it to the Olympics still in their minds. They won the Scotties. They came back to successfully defend in Lethbridge. And after a third place finish in Grand Prairie last year, they win the 2007 Women's World Championship. The closing ceremonies after this. The 2007 World Women's Curling Championship on CBC, presented by Ford, built for life in Canada. The 2007 World Women's Curling Championship on CBC is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Roll up the rim to win. By M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Scotty's Tournament of Hearts, a new name, a new look. Team Canada, the 2007 Women's World Curling Champions replacing two-time champion Annette Norberg. Kelly Scott and Annette Norberg, two of the favorite teams coming into the World Championship that began just over a week ago. Norberg with an Olympic gold medal after a World Championship in 2005 and another world title in 2006. Kelly Scott, one of the favorite teams coming in after back-to-back -back Canadian championships and she lived up to all advanced billing coming through with a gold medal performance here at the Amori Prefectural Skating Rink. Now let's go down to ice level and here's Joan. Congratulations Kelly on your first Women's World Championship. This was quite a battle. Was that unexpected from Denmark? It was such a battle. We didn't quite feel too comfortable with the ice conditions. A little frosty today and Obviously, Denmark made a lot of great quality shots out there, so it made for a good, tough battle today. Well, you played, you looked like you were on a mission, played so very well. Tell us about the journey from last year to this year. Yeah, boy, did we learn lots last year. Just the whole course of last season was a huge learning curve for us, and, and we went through it. We stuck together and, and got through Worlds last year with the bronze, and now this year we were after the gold medal, and sure enough, we did it today. Is there some words to describe how it feels right now for you and your teammates? We're just so proud. I mean, we were on a mission today and stuck together. We don't have in, any family or friends with us this week. It was just the girls, the curling girls here on a mission, and it feels so good to finally cap it off today. Congratulations, Kelly. Thank you so much, and all of Canada's proud. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And Team Canada will be returning home to Kelowna on Monday. And they'll proudly be wearing the gold medallions that will be presented here in Amori. And I think these Danish women have every right to feel 
proud of their achievement this week making the playoffs earning those valuable points necessary to move up in the standings as far as the Olympics are concerned and giving Kelly Scott and her Canadian teammates all they can handle in this championship game. Back to back steals really spelling the difference for Canada. Kelly Scott herself had to make some remarkable shots after Madeline DuPont who throws fourth stones for Team Denmark kept her squad in it with some excellent shots of her own. Jerry Richards, the coach of Team Canada, Michelle Allen, the fifth player, Renee Simons, the lead, Sasha Carter at second stone, Gina Schrader, who, by the way, will be expecting a second child in September at third stone, and there's the skip, Kelly Scott. What a career. In 1991, she played in the Canadian Junior Championship with Jill Staub, lost the final in Leduc. In 1993, lost the Manitoba Junior Final to Jennifer Jones. In 1995, she won the Canadian and World Junior Championships. And then in 2005, after winning BC, she finished in third place in St. John's in the Canadians, won in London in 2006 in Lethbridge this year, and now is world champion. Mr. Les Harrison, President of the World Curling Federation, will now present the championship trophy to the champions, Team Canada. Skip, Kelly Scott. Third, Jenna Schrader. Second, Sasha Carter. Lead, Renee Simons. Fifth, Michelle Allen and coach, Jerry Richards. The 14th time that this World Championship trophy is heading to Canada. Marge Mitchell in 1980 was the first recipient. <laughs> Sandra Schmerler and her team won it Thank you. three times. Colleen Jones won it twice, 2001, 2004. And now Kelly Scott, Gina Schrader, Sasha Carter, and Renee Simons are the 2007 champions. We'll be back with more from the women's world in Amori after this. For Kelly Scott and her team from the Kelowna Curling Club, last year a bronze medal in Grand Prairie to the top of the medal podium this year, receiving the gold medals for their triumph in Amore. And for Les Harrison, the president of the World Curling Federation and a Canadian, a pretty happy moment as well as he is able to present the championship medals to the four women who have dominated women's world curling this year. Kelly Scott, Gina Schrader, Sasha Carter, and Renee Simons women's world curling champions for 2007. Presentation of flowers as the closing ceremonies continue here in Amori. Joan McCusker, you've experienced this three times being on the medal podium at a world championship. You have the immediate satisfaction of knowing you won, but I'm sure it takes a little time for what you've accomplished to really sink in. Especially being so far away from home, as Kelly was talking about, being away from family and friends, the people that have supported you to get there, and really, the moment that it really hits you is when the, the anthem is played after the presentation that you start thinking about how great it's going to be to go home as a world champion. Well, this nation has been pretty good to Canadian curling. You won the gold medal in Nagano in 1998. Mike, you won the silver medal in Nagano. And they've done a great job hosting here as well. Beautiful facility, and uh, the committee here can be very proud. And I think you can expect another world championship to come back to Asia in, in the near future. And in talking to the president of the Japanese Curling Federation, he said plans are afoot to construct more curling facilities in this country. Last year at the Olympics in Japan, the Japanese women's team captured the imagination of sports fans in this country. They were big stars in, on television as the games were televised live 
from Italy back to Japan. And this year's Japanese team here in Amori became celebrities and there was a hundred media people to interview them. They had to have their own media scrum area. Very good news for curling in this country, Japan. Well, this is the first time that the Women's World Championship or a major championship has been held in Japan other than the Olympic Games in 1998. And next year, the Women's World Championship will be held in Vernon, British Columbia. Kelly Scott would like to be there, fairly close to her hometown. But next on the agenda for Kelly Scott and her team, the Players Championship that will take place in Calgary the second week in April. We'll be back with more after this. It's always a proud moment to be standing on a metal podium and hear your national anthem being played as you are honored as champions. And this Kelly Scott team, the best in the world in women's curling in 2007. Sport, uh, Sports Weekend returns later today with more from the World Aquatics Championship in Melbourne. Alex Depati is featured once again at noon local time with Steve Armitage, Mary Carroll, and Karen Larson calling the action. And don't forget, CBC also offers an encore presentation of the World Women's Curling Championship from here in Amori at 1 p.m. local times later today. And tonight in prime time at 8 local time, you can catch an encore performance of the World Figure Skating Championship Gala from Tokyo, Japan. The final score, Canada 8 and Denmark 4 as Kelly Scott and her team of Gina Schrader, Sasha Carter and Renee Simons are world champions. Sports, Canada's Olympic Network, home of the champions.